Cash for the crackers and the pickles and the fly paper. No, what do you talk? 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 What do you get? What do you talk? You can talk, you can talk. You can bicker, you can talk. You can bicker, 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 you can talk, you can talk. You can talk, 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 bicker, 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 you can talk all you wanna, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, no, it ain't, but you got another territory. Shh, 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 it's the mild tea board made the trouble, made the people wanna go, wanna get, wanna get, wanna get up and go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen. 22, 23 miles to the county seat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who's gonna patch a nice a little bitty two by four kind of store anymore? What do you talk? What do you talk? Where do you get? Not the Model T at all. Take a gander at the store, at the Modern store, at the present day store, at the present day Modern departmentalized grocery store. What do you talk? 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 Where do you get it? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? Where do you get it? You can talk, you can bicker. You can talk, you can bicker. You can talk, 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 bicker, bicker, bicker. You can talk all you want, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. But you got another territory. Why? It's the you need a biscuit made the trouble. You need it, you need it. Put the crackers in the package, in the package. The you need a biscuit in an airtight sanitary package made the cracker barrel obsolete, 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 obsolete. Cracker bar and wind told the window with a mail coach got plugged on by the stall. Change the approach of a traveling salesman, you made it pretty hard. No, it didn't, no, it didn't, but you got another territory. Gone, gone, gone with the hogshead cask and demijohn. Gone with the sugar barrel, pickle barrel, milk pan. Gone with the tub and the pail and the tears. Ever meet a fellow by the name of Hill? 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 No! Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Put it off, put it off. Now he doesn't know the territory. Doesn't know the territory? What's the fellow's line? Never worries about his line. Or the Cracker Barrel being obsolete. Or the you need a biscuit in an airtight sanitary package made the Cracker Barrel out of the store Model T Ford. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Never worries about his line. Never worries about his line. Or a doggone thing. He's just a bang, beat, bell, ringing, big, haul, great, go, neck or nothing, rip, roaring every time a bullseye sails. But that's Professor Harold Hill, Harold Hill. Tell us, what's his line? What's his line? He's a fake and he doesn't know the territory. What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? He's a music man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music man and he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with the big trombones and the rat a tat drunk. Big brass bass, big brass bass. And the piccolo, the piccolo, uniforms too, with the shiny gold braid on the coat and a big red stripe running. Well, I don't know much about bands, but I do know you can't make a living selling big trombones. No, sir. Mandolin picks, perhaps. And here, there are juice heart. No, the fellow sells bands. Boys' bands. I don't know how he does it. But he lives like a king, and he dallies, and he gathers, and he plucks, and he shines. And when the man dances, certainly, boys, well, the piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, when the man dances, why certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he doesn't know the territory. <laughs> Rare 
city, we're across state line in Iowa, population 2212. Cigarettes are illegal in this state. Four. Well, if you're all three, I'll tell you about Harold Hill. You really know Harold Hill? Never saw him in my life, but I know this much. He's given every one of us salesmen a black eye. After he's worked the town over, the next salesman to arrive gets automatically tarred and feathered and rode after the city limits on a rail. Oh, you think that's funny? Well, wait till it happens to you. Your hair never grows back. <laughs> but why should he get run out of town on the rail? Because in order to sell instruments and uniforms and instruction books, he has to guarantee to teach them kids to play. Well? And to form them kids into a band with himself as the leader. Well, what's wrong with that? He don't know one note from another. That's what's wrong with that. He can't tell a bass drum from a pipe organ. When I catch up with that swindling two-bit thimble rigger, I'm gonna squeal on him so loud. Well, Charlie, you're mad. I'd so like to be around when you catch up with that fella. Well, it won't be on this trip. Not in Iowa. Even the great Professor Harold Hill wouldn't try to sell them neck bullet Hawkeyes out here. <clears throat> Gentlemen, you intrigue me. I think I ought to give Iowa a try. I don't believe I caught your name. I don't believe I dropped it. Sunday, if you could accommodate me. Well, my friend, I suppose you'd like to see the man in charge of hiring rooms. Who's late as usual? Hey, Gregory! Marcellus! You old son of a gun. What? But, Greg. Professor Hill's the name. Professor Harold Hill. But, Greg, what are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me you was coming? Well, I didn't know myself. And how could I know you'd be stuck in some little tank town like this? You're a pretty big slicker when you're in business with me. Too many close shaves the way you were. Besides, I got me a nice, comfortable girl now. Ethel Toppelmeyer, the boss's niece. God, I'm legitimate, huh? I knew you'd come to no good. So, uh, what's the new pitch? No, you're not back in the band business, are you? Are you were in steam automobiles. I was. Well, what happened? Somebody actually invented one. Oh, no. Now give me the load out here, Marsh. What's new? Mm, you're not going to get anywhere with these stubborn islands, Greg. Just forget it. We've got a stuck-up music teacher. 
she'll shut you down before you even get that bag unpacked. Male or female? Music teacher, she's a librarian, female. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Now, if you see her, point her out to me. I will. <coughs> Excuse me, Greg. All the okay, fresh. Just all the fresh. Mm. So, uh, how are you going to start the pitch? Same old way. Keep the music teacher off balance. And then, my next step, we'll get your town out of serious trouble it's in. River City is not in any trouble, Greg. Well, you know, then I have to create some. I have to create a desperate need for a boys' band. You remember? Now, what's new around here? What can I use? Nothing. Except, uh, the billiard parlor has a new pool table. Never had a pool table before? Nope, only billiards. <laughs> Wait! Perfect! Now, that's what I'll use. If you see that music teacher, point her out to me. Music teacher. <sighs> Ah, are you Mr. Dunlop? Yeah? Well, friend, either you're closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you're not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here, say, trouble right here in River City. What? Sure, I'm a billiard player. Certainly mighty proud to say it, always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with the cue in my hand are golden. Help to cultivate horse sense in the cool head and the keen eye. Did you ever take a try to give an ironclad lead to yourself through a three rail billiard shop? Well, just as I'd say, to judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a balk like game, I say to any boom, can take a shovel ball in that pocket. And I call that swap. First big step on the road to the depths of Dad your day and say, first, medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinch back suit. And listen to some big out of town Jasper here to tell him about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trot race, no, but a race race set down right on a horse. Like to see some stuck up jockey boy sitting on Dan Patch. Make your butt boil, well, I should say. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. Got one, two, three, four, five, six pucks on the table. Pucks that mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum, with the capital B and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. And all week long, your River City youth will be frittering away, so your young men will be frittering. Frittering away their new time, supper time, chore time too. Get the ball in the pocket, never mind getting dandelions for the screen door pet or the beef steak pounded. Never mind pumping any water to your parents you caught with a sister and empty on a Saturday night, and that's trouble. Oh, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the naked box, shirt down the young ones, picking in the pool hall window after school, you got trouble. Right here in River City. A trouble with the capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. I know all you folks are the right kind of parents. I'm going to be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes out while they're loafing around that hall? Maybe trying off Pigon, trying off Cubex, trying off Taylor Mays like cigarette beans. And bragging all about how they're going to cover up a telltale breath with sense and one fine night. They leave the pool hall, heading for the dance at the armory. Liberty men and scarlet women and ragtime. Shameless music that'll grab your son, your daughter, to the arms of the jungle, animalistic masteria. Friends, Seattle brain is the devil's playground. Trouble. Right here in River City. With the capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. We surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Gotta figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school. Mothers of River City, heed the warning before it's too late. Watch for the telltale signs of corruption. The minute your son leaves the house, she rebuckles knickerbockers below the knee. It's her nick and see stand on his index finger. A dime novel hidden in the corn crib. He's starting to memorize words out of Captain Stewie's whiz bang. Or certain words starting to creep in his vocabulary. Words like swell, ah, and social man. What's up, my friends? You got trouble. Right here in River City. With the capital T, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool, sir. We surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Remember the main Plymouth Rock and the Golden Rule. Oh, you're in trouble. You're in terrible, terrible trouble. That game with the 15 number balls is the devil's tool. Oh, yes, we got trouble, trouble, trouble. With the team. Got a 
No. I think I met you in. No. Only be in town a short while. Good. I'll be there in a minute. Dear, now your exercises. Yes, ma'am. I don't remember the library being open last 4th of July. It was, Mama, all evening. Mama, a man with a suitcase has been following me all over town. Oh, who? I never saw him before. Did he say anything? He tried. Did you say anything? Mama, of course not. Now don't dawdle, Amaryllis. Play your exercise. So do la re ti mi a little slower and please keep the fingers curved as nice and high as you possibly can. Don't get faster, dear. You don't mind my saying so. It wouldn't have hurt me to find out what the gentleman wanted. I know what the gentleman wanted. What, dear? You'll find it in Balzac. Well, excuse me for living, but I never read it. Neither has anyone else in this town. There you go again with that same old comment about the low mentality of living city people and taking it all too much to heart. Now, Mama, as long as the Madison Public Library was entrusted to me for the purpose of improving River City's cultural level, I can't help my concern that the ladies of River City keep ignoring all my counsel and advice. But, darling, when a woman has a husband and you've got none, why should she take advice from you? Mama, if you don't mind my saying so, you have a bad habit of changing every subject. No, I haven't changed the subject. I was telling you about the stranger. What stranger? Okay, who may be your very last chance? Mama, do you think that I'd allow a common measure now? Really, Mama, I have my standards where men are concerned, and I have no intention. So I know all about your standards, and if you don't mind my saying so, there's not a man alive who could also Well, if that isn't the best I've ever heard. Thank you. Can I have a drink, please? May I have a drink? May I have a drink, please? You may. Please hold. It's after dark. Who gets in the way to come into the house? Hello. That one's right up. I have a kiss for me, boy. That lady over there is your sister, young man. Hello, Winthrop. Winthrop, where's your manners? I'm having a party on Saturday. Will you please come? I would especially like it very much if you'd come, Winthrop. Winthrop, Amaris has just asked you to a party. Now you're going, aren't you? No. No what? No, thank you. You know the little girl's name? 
He won't say Amaryllis because of the S, because of his list. He's ashamed. We know all about his list for Amaryllis. Well, we for. I bet he won't say it. No, thank you, Amaryllis. <laughs> Amaryllis, Amaryllis. He's crying. Why does he get so mad at people? Just because he lists? It's not only because he lists, Amaryllis. That's just part of it. What's the other part? Never mind, dear. It's just that he never talks very much. Not even to you and your mother? No, dear. We all have to be a little patient. I'm patient, even though he doesn't ever talk to me, but I do him every night. I say good night to him on the evening star. You have to stay the very second you see it, too, or it doesn't count. Good night, my Winthrop. Good night. Sleep <laughs> tight. There, dear, don't cry. You have lots of time. If not Winthrop, there'll be someone else. Never. I'll end up an old maid like you. I'm sorry, Miss Marion. Can I play my cross hand feet? May I play? May I play my cross hand feet? You may. Without a sweetheart, you have no one to say goodnight to. I'm the evening star. I know, Amaryllis. For the time being, just say goodnight to my someone. You can put the name in when the right someone comes along. All right. It's better than nothing. Yes, it is. Now you can play your cross hand feet. Now I may play my cross hand feet. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we're all grateful to my wife, Eulalie McKechnie Shin, for leading the singing, and to J.C. Squires for his fine stereotic and slide. And to Ethel Koppelmeyer, our fine player piano, oh, sorry, Ethel, piano player. 
As mayor of River City, I welcome you, River Citizen. The annual 4th of July exercises set up here in Madison Gymnasium account the weather. Four score. <laughs> Four score. The members of the school board will now present a patriotic tableau. Oh, the members of the school board will not present a patriotic tableau. Some disagreement about the costumes, I suppose? <clears throat> Instead, the Watanye girls of the local wigwam of Hiawatha will present a spectacle. My wife, <laughs> in which my wife, Yulene McKechnie Shin, will take a leading part. Mrs. Shin will recover. No thanks to a certain young ruffian who is a disgrace to our city. <clears throat> Four score. The Payne's fireworks spectacle, last days of Pompeii, will take place providing the rain stops by 9.30. It'll be out to Madison Picnic Park in the Far Meadow, across the creek from the pest house. How can it be raining? Does the Gazette predict fair? Yes, he were. It sure did. And you know what? That's why we are prepared for a storm. The Gazette is anchor most of the time, and you know it, JC. You wouldn't last very long in the banking business being anchor most of the time. Oh, Look, order here! Let's have order! Order! <laughs> hmm, no. I make her early. She's late, all right. She's right on time. What's the matter with your watch? Hey, we you never the school board stop bigger in public. On the world never mind. Thing. Four score. Who's in the pool table town? Yeah. Oh, just a minute here. Yeah. Will you allow me to get on to the exercises? Let's protect our children. Resist civic corruption. Spike the devil and keep our young boys pure. Excuse me, sir. Folks, folks, may I have your attention, please? Attention, please. I can deal with the troubled friends with the wave of my hand, this very hand. Please observe me, if you will. I'm Professor Harold Hill, and I'm here to organize the River City Boys Band. Brrr -ra. Just think, my friends, how could any pool table ever hope to compete with the gold trombone? Ra ra, ba da 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 da, ra ra. Remember, my friends, with a handful of trumpet players into the famous Fable Walls of Jericho. Oh, bigger parlor walls come a tumbling down. Well, a band will do it, my friends. Oh yes, I say, boys band, do you hear me? I say, River City's got to have a boys band, and I mean she needs it today. Well, Professor Harold Hill's on hand. River City's got to have a boys band. As sure as the Lord made little green apples, and that band's going to be in uniform. Johnny, Willie, Teddy, Red. And you hear the glitter of crashing cymbals, and the thunder of rolling drums, and the shimmer of trumpets. Tum da da! And you'll feel something akin to the electric thrill I once felt. Liberati, Pat Conway, the great creator. W.C. Handy and John Philip Sousa all came to town on the very same historic day. Seventy-six trombones led the big parade with 110 cornets right behind. They were followed by rows and rows of the finest virtuosos, the cream of every famous band. 
76 trombones caught the morning sun with 110 cornets right behind. There are more than a thousand reeds springing up like weeds. There were horns of every shape and kind. There were copper bottom timpanies and horse platoons thundering, thundering all along the way. Double bell euphoniums and big bassoons, each bassoon having its big fat say. There were 50 modded cannons in the battery, thundering, thundering louder than before. Clarinets of every size and trumpeters would improvise a whole octave higher than the score. Seventy-six trombones hit the counterpoint, while the hundred and ten cornets blaze away. To the rhythm of hutch, 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 all the kids began to march, and they're marching still right today. Oh, sorry. Go! She watch your phraseology, young man. I know what you two is doing. You were following my girl down Main Street. His father's one of them laborers from south of town. Tagging down my tagging down Main Street after my oldest girl last Sunday. I wasn't either tagging. Don't you counterdict me. We was just walking together. What's wrong with that? If I ever catch you with your hands on my daughter again, you'll hear from me till who laid the rails. Hill, I'll talk to you Monday morning, 10 o'clock sharp about this band thing over at City Hall. Men, I want that Spellbinder's credentials. Constable, I'll be responsible for the boy. You don't want to do that. This kid's tough, and I'm just sure he's got his gang waiting around here somewhere. I'll be real careful. Tommy, I'd like to talk to you about the band. The band? But that's just for kids, Professor. No, I'm not talking about you playing in the band. Well, you're mechanically minded, right? Done things with perpetual motion? Um, uh, I nearly had it a couple of times. You did? Then you're my man. You know that no one has ever invented a music holder for a marching piccolo player? 
Know where to hang their music. Oh, wow, where did I get some wire from? The cellar, Tommy, that's where people keep their wire. Oh, and Tommy. Yes, sir. Cops lost her to, to break up a gang. Miss, miss, what's your name? Zanita, I didn't know you was back into me. <laughs> Eat cat. Zanita, do you know Tommy Gilas? Well, I... Tommy, escort her home. Only accepting I wasn't going home. I was going to the library. Oh, right. escort her home by the way of library. Or by the way of candy kitchen. Oh, um, yes, sir. But do I have to? You have to, Tommy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Eat cat. Well, Professor, you're a pretty bright young fellow. But you made a few mistakes. Oh? The new pool table in the billiard parlor. The mayor owns it. What's my other mistake? That's Anita. She's the mayor's oldest girl. <sighs> Excuse me, Professor. We need to see your credentials. Where are the school board? Academic certificates. Nothing of the kind. Papers and such. Hey, let's make him put up a bond. Hey, what am I hearing here? Hey, say <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream, but I don't sing. All right, man. then talk. Down here. Ice cream. Talk slow. Ice cream. See? Sing is only sustained talking. Now you. Ice cream. Now you. Cream. Now you, sir. Ice cream. From now on, ladies, you'll never see one of those men without the other three. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. How can there be any sin in Where is the good in good to live alone or anything. No. I have some wonderful caramels over at the hotel. If you just come by Mr. and talk. Mr. Hill. Professor Hill. Professor? At what college do they give a degree for annoying women on the street like a Saturday night rowdy at a public dance hall? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm a conservatory man myself. Gary and Anna, class of Ot 5. Even should that happen to be true, does that give you the right to follow me around wherever I go? And another thing, Mr. Hill, I'm not as easily mesmerized or hoodwinked as some people in this town, and I think it only fair to warn you that I have a shelf full of reference books in there, which may very well give me some interesting information about you. Now, miss. Hey, Marcellus. <coughs> How's it going? And don't call me Greg, by the way. I think maybe you're right. I should head back to the big city. Yeah. <coughs> Too much fresh air, huh? <laughs> yeah. No, How'd you make out with the music teacher? Scrumptious. Ate out of my hand the minute I tipped my hat. She did? Well, you sure could have swapped the night. For a second, even I thought you knew something about leading a band. It was like when you used to imitate that band fellow back in Joplin. Yeah. Well, that's kid stuff. I'm in rare form these days. He's watched me for the next four weeks. Four weeks? It used to only take ten days for the instruments to arrive. Still does, but it takes four weeks for the uniforms. 
Oh no. You haven't had a uniform. Uniforms and instruction books. Instruction books? But you can't pass off as a band teacher. At least not for any Marsh. four weeks. But you don't know one note from another. Well, you see, <laughs> I have this revolutionary new method called the Think System. You don't even have to bother with notes. In four weeks, people are going to want to hear some music. You're going to have to lead a band. But you see, when the uniforms arrive, they forget about everything else. At least long enough for me to collect and leave. This is the refined operation, my boy, and I got a time for the last wave of the brakeman's hand to the last train out of town. Can I feed the horses, please? May I feed, may the, I horses? feed the horses? Yes, you may. Thank you. <laughs> now, Mr. Washburn, if you'll excuse me. You're going to line yourself up a little canoodling, huh? Well, hey, I can fix you up with Ethel, sister. Lovely girl teaches Sunday school. No wide-eyed, eager, wholesome, innocent Sunday school teacher for me. That kind of gal spins webs, no spider ever... Now listen, boy. A gal who trades on all that purity really wants to trade my independence for her security. The only affirmative she will file refers to marching down the aisle. No golden, glorious, gleaming, pristine goddess. No, sir, for no Diane do I play fawn. I can tell you that right now. I snarl, I hiss, how could ignorance be compared to bliss? I spark, I fizz, for the lady who knows what time it is. I cheer, I rave, for the virtue I'm too late to save. The sadder but wiser girl for me. <laughs> No bright eye blushing, breathless, baby now, baby. No, sir, that kind of child ties not. No sailor ever knew. I prefer to take a chance on a more adult romance. No doing a miss who keeps resisting. All the time she keeps insisting. No wide-eyed, wholesome, innocent female. No, sir, why she's the fisherman, I'm the fish you see. Plop! I flinch, I shout, when the last bit of delicate air walks by, I, I grin. When the gal with the touch of sin walks in, I hope and I pray for Hester to win just one more A. The sadder but wiser girl, it's a girl for me. The sadder but wiser girl for me. Au revoir, mon ami. Later, Mars. Oh, Professor Hill, we're all agog, simply agog. I'm Katie. Everyone's so excited about the band. I'm Ethel Toffelmeyer, the piano girl. And this is Mrs. Squire. And Mrs. Hicks. And of course, you've met you, Lady McKechnie Shin, our mayor's wife. Oh, isn't this exciting, you lady? Oh, I couldn't say. I couldn't say. No, I couldn't say at this time. My husband will wish to investigate, I'm sure. And naturally, I'm reticent. Oh, yes, I'm reticent. Why, of course, Mr. Shin, I understand. But you see, part of my musical plans include a committee and the dancing. Oh, no, wait. Do that again. Do what? Your foot, the way you raised it just now. Oh, well, I have a bunny. Oh, what grace. What natural flow of rhythm. What expression of... Line and movement. Oh, Mr. Hill. You must accept the chairmanship for the ladies' auxiliary for the dance. Won't you, she, ladies? Won't you, she? Every move you make bespeaks Del Sarte. Del Sarte. Say yes. Say yes, Mr. Shin. You Laylee McKechnie Shin. I, uh, well, dancing well. Then you accept? Yes. But I Thank like you. And now for the young lady who plays the piano. Marion Pru, I believe. <gasps> Why, she is a librarian. Pick a little, tuck a little, pick a little, tuck a little, cheep, 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 tuck a lot, pick a little more. Pick a little, tuck a little, pick a little, tuck a little, cheep, 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 tuck a lot, pick a little more. Pick a little, tuck a little, pick a little, tuck a little, cheep, 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 tuck a lot, pick a little more. Pick a little, tuck a little, pick a little, tuck a little, cheep, 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 cheep. Professor, her kind of woman doesn't belong on any committee. Of course, I shouldn't tell you this, but she advocates dirty books. Dirty books? Chaucer. Rabbit. Tuggle up, pick a little more. Ball that. And the worst thing, of course, I shouldn't tell you this, but I'll tell. If a man lived on 9th Street, let me tell. Stop. I'll tell. 
She made brazen overtures to a man who never had a friend in this town till she came here, old Miser Madison. Wait, Miser Madison? Madison Picnic Park? Madison Hospital? Madison Fire Station? That Miser Madison? Exactly. Who do you think he was anyway? Well, I should say, show off. Probably get the town the library too, didn't he? That's just it. He left the library building to the city. But he left all the books to her. She was seen coming and going from his place. Oh, yes, yeah, so yes, that woman made brazen overtures. With a goat that's carrying She had a gold in her eye and a silver voice with a kind of her wing. Just melt her down and you'll reveal a lump of lead as cold as steel here, where woman's heart should be. She left River City, the library building, but he left all the books to her. Chaucer. We need your Yes, I have exactly what you need over at the hotel. Just follow me. One sec. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. It doesn't make any difference. What are you talking about? You were probably very young. Anybody could have made that mistake. What? No apologies, no explanations. I'll be in town in a short while, and the sadder but wiser girl for me. Will you please make your selection and leave? I have. What do you want to take out? The librarian. Quiet, please. The librarian. You're not listening, Marion. Look. Man. Marbles. Six Steelies, eight Aggies, a dozen Peewees, and one big glassy with an American flag in the middle. I think I'll drop them. No! Madam Librarian. What can I do? My dear, to make it clear, I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian. Marion, heaven help us if the library caught on fire. And the volunteer horse brigade men had to whisper the news to me. Rian. <laughs> Madam Librarian. What can I do, my dear, to make it clear? I need you badly, badly, Madam Librarian. Marion, if I stumbled and I busted my watch, my call it, I can lie on your floor unnoticed till my body had turned to carrion. Madam Librarian. Now in the moonlight. A man could sing it in the moonlight. And a fellow would know that his darling had heard every word of his song in the moonlight. Helping along. <laughs> but would I try in here to make it clear. I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian. Marion, it's a long lost cause. I can never win. But the civilized world accepts his unforgivable sin. And he talking out loud with any librarian. 
such as math. Rian. Madam Library. Rian. But when I try in here to make it clear, I need you badly, badly, Madam Librarian. Marion, it's a long lost cause. I can never win, for the civilized world accepts as unforgivable sin. Any talking out loud with any librarian, such as Matt. Ladies Dance Committee meets Tuesday nights. Marion. Uh, Marshmallow? Madam Librarian. <laughs> Rian. Are you soliciting? You haven't got a license. Why no? I collect doorbells. And this one has a unique tone quality. Of value. Soliciting is statutory in this county. Malefeasance without a permit. Why haven't you been down at City Hall with your references? Well, Mayor, you understand that? Oh, Mayor, your hand. Oh, no. What? What? The spread of your little finger. It's hereditary. Oh, it is? What does that mean? It means that your son's little finger is perfectly situated to operate a, a spit valve and a beef black horn. Is that good? Good. Good. Why, that means that your son can fool the middle waltz in 50 seconds. How can I get one of those horns? Why, sign here, Mr. Mayor. Just think, I could have missed this whole... I haven't got any son. You want to this guy? Ah, you want to ah, you be down in City Hall with your, your references by, by 3 o'clock? You mean this afternoon? I couldn't make myself any plan if I had to quake around his day off. Hide it. You are. That quick shit. Your boy was born to play the cornets. Oh, fine, fine. That'd be $7, $7 earnest money. Not a penny more due until um, opening a band practice. Oh, and I'll need his measurements for his uniform. His uniform? Why, yes, his uniform. Hello, son. Why, yes. There will be, well, be no more money due until the opening of band practice, which will give him four weeks to enjoy, anticipate, and imagine at no cost whatsoever. Never let the demands of tomorrow interfere with the joys and excitements of today. Would it have a, a, a stripe? A wide red stripe on either side. What do you think about that? Oh, you'll have to excuse Winthrop, Professor. We can't get him to say three words a day, even to us. And if you get him to play in that band, you'll have St. Michael's own way with you. But if anyone can do it, I'll bet you can. Out of a crowd, I'll pick you for a hard carry and shamrock wearing, maverick pinch and terrace hall minstrel singing Irishman. Be Gavin V. Jabbers, where are you from, me boy? Gary, Indiana. Gary, I knew it. Gary, where did you say? Gary, Indiana. Actually, 
Gary Conservatory is my alma mater. Was she now? Yep, gold medal class of Lot 5. Oh, how do you do, Miss Peru? How do you do, Mr. Hill? Oh, Peru. Why didn't I think of it? You know, I've been trying to see you since the other night. He wants to put Winthrop in the band. We are not interested, Mama. But Marion, the boy may have his father's musical talent. And he does have my jaw, you know. Father's musical? Well, I'd like to have a talk with him sometime. If that's Do you possible. burst into everyone's home like this, prying into personal affairs? We're not interested. Well, that's one against one. I think we should have the boy's father decide if that's... The boy's father is dead. Anything else? Well, I'm sorry. Well, that's more reason why he should have something like this, so he can just remember his father by his musical. My brother is a 10-year-old problem child who can't understand why his father was taken away from him. Would you care to explain it to him? And as for your musical tricks, why don't you go into business with some nice carnival man who sells gold-painted watches and glass diamond rings? Now, Miss Murray, musical tricks, I... Well, I think she likes the idea. A little apprehensive, but I like that in a woman. Just keep me alive for the next week, and I'll be back. One moment, Professor, about the boy's measurements. I make all his clothes. Mm -hmm. Sleeve 21, waist 18, crouch 14. Oh, that's fine, fine, fine. And I'll see you later. I gotta get back to the hotel. Oh, Professor, I do hope you'll excuse Marion. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm sure at heart she's as lovely as you are. Good day, little Peru. Oh. Has he gone? He has. And I hope not forever. Darling, don't you ever think about your future? Gary, Indiana, conservation class of art five. Now, darling. Mama, surely a girl's future doesn't depend on every fast-talking, self-centered, woman-chasing traveling man that comes to town. And the fact that he claims his commodity is music does not, in this particular case, impress me. All right, darling, all right. But it's a well-known principle that if you keep the steel in one drawer and the flint in another, you'll never strike much of a fire. Mama! Winthrop, Winthrop, I know you're there. I need you to go to the library and get a book I set aside. It's the Indiana Journal, 1890 to 1910. It's a large brown volume with black corners. Do I have to? You won't have to say anything. I've written it all down. Thank you, dear. Now what are you up to? Why do you need books at this hour of the night? I have a feeling the Indiana Journal will help me poke some large holes in the professor's claims. <sighs> I give up. At your age, if you don't mind my asking, what kind of white knight do you expect to come riding along? Well, I'm not waiting for Luther Greener, who backs me into the ancient history shelf every time he comes into the library. He does. Or Ed Gamage in that buggy of his with the removable back seat. But I'm not waiting for a man in shining white armor, either. My white knight, not a Lancelot, nor an angel with wings, Someone to love me Who is not ashamed of a few nice things My white knight What my heart would say If it only knew how Please divine us Show me love All I want is a place A straightforward and honest man to sit with me in a cottage somewhere in the state of Iowa, and I would like him to be more interested in me than he is in himself, and more interested in us than in me. Occasionally he ponder what makes Shakespeare and Beethoven great. Him I could love till I die. Him I could love till I die. Let me walk with him where the others ride by. 
Boy, I wish Sunita were here. I'd still like to talk to her. She's so much fun, you know? I wish I could talk to her, but I just can't. It's just the mayor. It's all his fault. I just wish I could see him. Ah, Zanita, hey! Mommy, Pap and Mom are sitting right over there in the bank. Eat Dad! Oh, well, then meet me after supper. I can't. It's Upworth League night. Meet you where? Ah, uh, the footbridge. See? Isn't that just what I mean? Last week the lumberyard and now the footbridge? Where will you meet me next? The black hole of Calcutta? Eat Gads! But I only want to show you my new invention. What invention? My music holder for a marching piccolo player. But it still has a few minor flaws. You see, when you hold it tight enough to keep the music steady, you cut off your circulation and you can't move your fingers. And meanwhile, ow, ah, you could go blind. <gasps> Tommy, it's Papa. Is that the first thing I said or not? Yes, George. That's the very first thing, or I'll eat hay with the horses. Morning of July 4th, 19 and 12. Get that spellbinder's credentials. And now look, my wife's off dancing at all hours of the night instead of tanning to work at home. But George, and my, I like and the school board singing up the street and down the alley. My oldest daughter's bootling around with some wild kid from south of town. My business has fallen off so far, I can't even find the balance sheet. Professor, Mayor Shin, I have found something very interesting in this book about Professor Hill's alma mater. His who? His university. Indeed. That's all I can get out of him. Gary Conservatory, class of aught five. But if you'll just take some time to read about the conservatory, you won't have to look much further. It's on page... Uh... Papa! 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 The Wells Fargo wagon's coming! Nonsense! At this time of day, the Wells Fargo wagon... It could be the band instruments! The band instruments? The Wells Fargo wagon is a coming train Coming train Coming train Coming train Sugar on my birthday. In March I got a cream egg and all. And once I got some grapefruit from Tampa. Montgomery Ward sent me a bathtub and a cross cut saw. Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is a coming down the street. A great big surprise of COD. It could be curtains, auditions, or a double boiler. Or it could be. Something special. Something very, very special now. Just for me. time. In the meantime, stay off the streets, get acquainted with your instruments, and think about the minuet in G. la di da di da di da di dum la di da la di da Sister, sister, isn't this the most scrumptious thing you ever saw? I never thought I'd see anything so scrumptious as this scrumptious solid gold thing. Oh, sister! Round one for you, Mr. Hill. But I better hear some tooting out of them horns in pretty short order. I'll have you down in front of the grand jury at the county seat. Now, Miss Marion, about that book. 
come, George, to this fugit. You watch your phraseology now. Get along. I have to talk to the librarian about that book. The ladies' dance committee meets Tuesday nights. you in here. Mrs. Shin will have my head. Mr. Washburn, ah, we are entitled to five more ah, minutes. Go ahead if you think you can hold these kids back. <coughs> we'll start her up, Mr. Washburn. Just wait you see the new moves Professor Hills taught us. All right, what will it be? The shit poopy. Now, a woman who kisses on the very first date is usually a hussy. And a woman who kisses on the second time out is anything but fussy. But a woman who waits till the third time around, head in the clouds, feet on the ground. She's the one he's glad he's found. She's his shapoopy, 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 shapoopy. The girl is hard to get. Shapoopy, shapoopy, shapoopy. Walk on once just to raise the curtain, and you walk around twice, and you make for certain once more in the flower garden. She will never get sore if you beg her pardon. <laughs> Squeeze her once when she isn't looking. If you get a squeeze back, that's fancy cooking. Once more for a pat for a she will never get sore on the way to some fun. Now, little old Sal was a no guy, as anyone could see. 
Well, look at her now, she's a go gal. Who only goes for me? Squeeze her once when she is in luck, and if you get a squeeze back, that's fancy cocaine. Once more for a bad proper, she will never get sore. No way, it is a part. She a poopy, she a poopy, she a poopy. The girl's hard to get. She a poopy, she a poopy, she a poopy. If I catch you with your hands on my daughter, I'll horse up you till hell won't have it again. Now, Joel. Not one poop out of you, madam. I think he meant peep. <laughs> yes, yeah, now get out of this public building. I have as much right in this public building as anybody. How do you get any right around here? Aiding and abetting the swindling activities of a spellbinding symbol salesman? Do you know what I see written all over you? Reform school. Now get out. Get out, you wild kid. Papa, please. It's calculus like you that make fun in the marketplace. It Gad. You watch your phraseology, young woman. Now go home. You Laylee? Well, George, I You only... tend to your dance. I'll handle Zanita taking up with wrong kids from the wrong side of town. Mr. Mayor, if I could just make you understand. Well, you can't. I read that book you gave me for a whole week from cover to cover, and I didn't find a thing. Now, Mr. Mayor, if you please. I'll sell your ass as soon as I get these premises off my oldest girl. Well, in the meantime, I want you to know that I'm vouching for Tommy Gillis. He's got the confidence of every kid in this town. You'll be waiting to shake his hand by the time our band plays its first concert. By the time your band plays its first concert, the individual members will have to foregather in wheelchairs on account of the broken legs they'll have from tripping over their beards. I'll tell you something, my feathered young fine. My fine. 
Never mind. Oliver, JC, Ewart, Owen, I want this man's references and I want him tonight. Don't let him out of your sight. He's slipperier than a Mississippi sergeant. You mean you want us to get his credentials? Get his papers or get him in jail. I couldn't make myself a planner if I was a button hook in the well water. Professor Hill, I think Mayor Shin behaved abominably. And I think it was wonderful of you coming to Tommy's defense. Oh, it wasn't anything. Oh, yes, it was. No, no. A man can't dodge Yushu every time a little personal risk gets involved. What's the poet say? A coward dies a thousand deaths, and a brave man only dies 500. <laughs> but the mayor's already mad on account of his billiard parlor and his pool table. But I'm sure a reference from you might help, but I couldn't ask you for that. Why, Professor Hill. You would? I'd be happy to. I just wish I was a little more informed. I've been wanting to talk to you about Winthrop's coronet. Ah, it's coronet, the mother of pearl keys. I'm sure it's fine. It's just that he never touches it. Oh, the first week or so, he made a few experimental blats, I guess you'd say. Mm, blats, very good. And he sings the minuet in gee dee da almost constantly. la di da la di da la di da di da di da But he never touches the cornet. Well, you see, Miss Marion, it's uh, just the think system. He said, you said it wasn't necessary. Something about a think system. If he thinks the minuet in G, he won't have to bother with the notes? Now, Miss Marion, you must understand, the think system is a revolutionary new method. I must admit, but so is Galileo's conception of the heavens. Columbus's conception of the egg. I mean globe. Bach's conception of a well-tempered clavichord. But I can't talk about these things in public. If I could call, when may I call? Why, any night this week. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, chip, 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 chug a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, talk a little, Please join our Del Sarte committee. You were to go out back here and sit again. You dance like a fairy princess with a moon before your floor. You had a golden shoe in your hair and silver shoes for all to see. We know that you will soon unfold a forgiving heart of purest gold here, where woman's heart should be. Fairy princess, moon before, golden shimmer, silver shoes. Now and fall, heart of gold, here where women's heart should be. The professor told us to read those books, and we simply adored them all. Chaucer, fall back. <laughs> Excuse me, Professor. We need to see your credentials. We all been deputized. Yes, congratulations. You know, I've been trying to give you fellows my references and credentials all week, but it seems you always get off the subject somehow. Now I have exactly what you need at my hotel. If you'll excuse me. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm afraid we'll have to go off with you. Yes, let me see if I have my key. What's this? A testimonial from Madame Rini, the first woman bassoon player to ever play on the Red Pass circuit. Actually, that was her stage name, though. Her, Lida Rose Quackenbush was her actual name. Can I see that for a second? Never forget the name Lida Rose, just like the old song. <laughs> Lida Rose, I'm home again, Rose. To get the sun, sun back in the sky. Lida Rose, I'm home again, Rose. About a thousand kisses shy. Ding dong ding, I can hear the chapel bell chime. Ding dong ding, at the least suggestion, I'll hop the question. Light a rose, I'm home again, Rose, without a sweetheart to my name. Light a rose now. Everyone knows that I'm hoping you're the same. So here is my love song, not fancy or fine. Light a rose, oh won't you be my light a rose, oh light a rose, oh light a rose.
I'll bravely tell you what hold me when we meet again. Sweet and low, sweet and low, how sweet the moon, how long ago, forever. arguing with yourself? Will you ever tell him? Won't you ever tell him? Ah, yes. Ah, no. Ah, fiddlesticks. Just open your mouth and let it come out. Now, Mama. Now, nothing. If he comes to call again, you see him alone. And if you haven't got the gumption to tell him how you feel... Tell him! Well, there's nothing wrong with a ladylike hint. Mama! Mama! Winthrop! Where have you been? Fishing. Fishing? With Harold. You mean Professor Hill? Mm-hmm. Look, I still have some worms left. Did you have a good time? Scrumptious. And he told me all about his hometown, Gary, Indiana. He said he'd take me there someday. And he taught me songs that hardly had any S's in it. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, let me say it once again. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, that's the town that knew me when. If you'd like to have a logical explanation How I happened upon this elegant syncopation I will say without a moment of hesitation There was just one place that can light my face Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana Not Louisiana, Paris, France, New York, or Rome But Gary, Indiana, Gary like to have a logical explanation how I happened upon this elegant syncopation. I will say without a moment of hesitation, there was just one place that can light my face. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, not Louisiana, Paris, France, New York, or Rome, but Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, I'll be back in a minute. I just saw Amaryllis, my live frog. La -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da. Leave the dishes. I'll do them, Mama. Don't you have to change for the sociable? There's time later. Shins live around here somewhere? The Shin home is on East Elm. This is West Elm. Ah, oh, criminy. 
I see the piano teacher in town. You must know about that fellow who will form in a boys' band here. Why, yes. Well, don't let it worry you no more. I got the goods on him in spades. Swindling two-bit thimble rigger. That's why I gotta see Shin. I'm just passing through. Number only makes a, let's see, makes a, let's see, 15 minute water stop. Wish it was 20. I'd sure like to concentrate five minutes on you, girly girl. Who are you? Name's Charlie Cowell, Anvil Salesman. But just now, I'm out to protect the good name of the traveling fraternity from this swindler. Mr. Cowell, you're making a big mistake. Mistake, my old lady's corset cover. That fellow's been the raspberry seed of my wisdom tooth just long enough. He spoiled Illinois for me, and he's not going to spoil Iowa. Say, what kind of music teacher are you didn't see through him? He's no more professor. I know all about that. Music teachers are always called professor. It's a professional courtesy. He's a fine director and a scholastic achievement. Now, wait a minute. Fine director? Have you heard one note of music from any band? Well, no, but... But nothing, girly girl. He never formed a band in his life. And he never will. But if you just listen to me for a minute... I'd like to. I'd like to do more than that, if I had the time. I sure got the inclination. <laughs> But I gotta get back on that train, and I gotta leave this dynamite with somebody on the way to the depot. Bye, girly girl. See you next time through. You'll never make that train at the depot. You'll have to catch it at the crossing. No, sir. I gotta leave word, and I can see you ain't the one to leave it with. Oh, wait a minute. Mr. Cowell, you don't know me yet. Is that an invitation? No, I mean, I don't know you, and I didn't... Yes, I need more time anyway. I, I mean, as well as I'd like to. No trouble there, girly girl. <laughs> I've never met an anvil salesman. That's something quite different. Takes a real salesman. I can tell you that. Anvils have a very limited appeal, you know. <laughs> what am I doing? I missed that train, I'll lose my job. And I gotta leave word about that fella Hill. Bye. Leave word with me. Not on your tin type. How do I know you deliver these letters? Try me. There's your train, now run for it. Well, you double the little, who do you think you're protecting? That guy's got a girl in every county in Illinois and he's taking it away from every one of them. And that's 102 counties. Not counting the piano trees like you, he cozies up to just to keep their mouths shut. Neither one of you has heard the last of me, girly girl. I can hear the chapel bell chime. Ding dong ding. At the least suggestion, I'll pop the question. Night arose and home again rose without a sweetheart to my name. Good evening, Miss Marion. Night arose, however, everyone knows that I'm hoping you're. Marion! Marion, dear. Marion, oh, who was you talking to with us? <gasps> Why, Professor Hill! Brew, Miss Marion. You and Marion come up and sit. I, I've got some jelly on the stove. There's no jelly on the stove, Mama. Well, I'll put some on. Shall we set as your mother said? Well, I. You did ask me to call. Did I? I didn't mean anything. I'm not saying you inferred anything but academic enlightenment. The thing system. I've been by a time or two to try to tell you about it, but always seem there's people around. Mostly ladies, I thought. Yes, Mrs. Squires and some of the ladies. I'm glad. Wouldn't want anybody taking my time. You wouldn't. No, ma'am. Well, obviously, this is not the convenient night. See you at the sociable later. Mr. Hill, is it true that you've had a hundred... Yes? That is, what I meant to say is, is it true that you've developed a think system? Think system? Ah, yes, a think system. It's as simple as whistling. No one had to teach you how to use your lips to whistle. You just think of the word, and it comes out clearly. Now, before you say anything, try it yourself. I'll take your word. Shall we sit as your mother said? Are all music teachers as dense as I am? All music teachers? I dare say you've met hundreds. 
even thousands. Are they all as fascinated as I with the think system? Some more, some less. One lady thought of the same idea before I came to her town. She showed me a few refinements. I see. Did I say something wrong? Please don't let me keep you, Professor Hill. I'm sure you have very more important things to do than explain the think system to me. Well, I can't think of one. And I must be very dull company for a man of your experience. Now say, where would you get an idea like that? One hears rumors of traveling salesmen. Now, Miss Miriam, you mustn't believe everything you hear. One hears rumors about librarians also. I suppose you're referring to Uncle Maddie. Uncle Maddie? Mr. Madison, my father's best friend. No matter what they say, he left me an assured job so that Mother and Winthrop and I could have some security. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, what, start those, what starts those rumors? Narrow-mindedness. Jealousy. Jealousy mostly, I guess. And jealousy starts rumors about traveling salesmen. What have you heard? Uh, oh, nothing about you, personally. Just generally. Now, what have you heard generally? Just that... But of course, it stands to reason that narrow-mindedness and jealousy could, well, take you, for instance. Your attentions to customers and, well, teachers could easily be misinterpreted, couldn't they? Well, and if a salesman or somebody were jealous, they could be downright lies, couldn't they? What could? Rumors and things. Why, yes, they could, of course. It, it just goes to show you, you shouldn't believe everything you hear. I mean, if you're just discussing. Miss Marion, I'd love to talk about anything in the world with you. But can we sit? Your knees do bend and all. We could sit on the porch steps. How about a hollow log over by the footbridge? I couldn't. I've never been to the footbridge with a man just in my Just to talk? I need to change for the sociable. I'll meet you there in 15 minutes. Oh, no, please, some other time. Maybe tomorrow. My dear little librarian, you pile up enough tomorrows, you found that you've collected nothing but a lot of empty yesterdays. And I don't know about you, but I want to make today worth living. Oh, so do I. Footbridge, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Mama! What? I just told the professor I'd meet him at the footbridge in 15 minutes. Glory be in the seats, be praised, it works! What works? I've been using the think system on you from the parlor. Great! The uniforms have arrived. The kids are in them already. Those people are going to be screaming for music as they show up at the sociable. Yeah. There's most of the dough. I had Tommy collect it. He's down at the lumber yard, pretending to hog for practice. Okay, what time, is, what time does the freight go? 9.40 from the junction. Well, it's not even 8.30 yet. Listen, you want to turtle whirtle around here and get yourself caught in a bunny trap? Go ahead. Don't buddy. worry, Marshall. I'll be at the hotel in plenty of time. Go get the rig. Miss Marion, you're late. But you said 15 minutes. Well, then I meant that you were about, well, I'd say, about 26 years late. Took you all this time to get to the footbridge with the fella? Well, if you want to know the truth, it was almost longer. Oh? Halfway here, I nearly turned back. I suppose I'm not the first to find it easier to think clearly when none of those fell of your salesmanship. Now, Miss Marion, you don't think I've been trying to sell you anything? Oh, no. You've given me something. That's why I had to come. I don't recall giving you anything. Oh, yes, you have. Something beautiful. That's why I came, and I'm glad. Oh, please don't be afraid I expect too much more. One can expect a traveling salesman to stay put. I know there have been many ports to call, and there will be many more. But that's no reason for me not to be grateful for what you have left behind for me. Man.
you don't know about me, and I think, Greg, I'm expecting a cable from Hector Berlioz, yeah? If, if you'll excuse me. What? Hey, man, who's the salesman here? Sounds like she's selling and you're buying. You nuts? I didn't know I'd be, I didn't know I was going to be able to leave tonight. And didn't I say I have to keep her off balance? Didn't I? Yeah, well, now she's so far off balance, you can't tell her from a cat boat in a hurricane. Listen, Buster Brown, I'm not leaving, a, leaving without my commission. But Greg, you can't get anywhere from out here on the footbridge. There's a place over by Madison Park that makes this footbridge look like an old lady's home. Now beat it! Go get the rag! No. Ah, never a dull moment in the music business. How where were we? You were about to tell me what I don't know about you. Well, we really don't need to get into that right now, do we? Oh, no, we don't, Harold. Or ever, for that matter. The librarian hasn't felt much like doing research lately. But she did plenty of it when you first came here. About what? Oh, Gary and Neanna Conservatory of Music. Gold medal class of Aut 5? Harold, there was no class of Aut 5. Now, Miss Wernie, must because have... Because the town wasn't even built till Aut 6. I'll see you at the sociable. You knew all this time? Since July 7th, three days after you came. I tore this page out of the Indiana Journal. I originally meant it to use against you, but now I give it to you with all my heart. Miss, why you little? <laughs> well, 110 cornets blazed away. Then I modestly took my place as a one and only bass, and I oompahed up and down the square. Good night, my someone. Good night, my while 110 cornets played the air. Our star is shining its brightest light. There were horns of every shape and kind. Sweet dreams be yours, dear, if dreams there be. Well, 110 cornets played the air. I wish I may, and I wish I might. Now, good night, my someone, good night. Greg. Greg, this guy's crazy. He's running all over town, spilling everything. Oh, Sam, crazy? Missed my train play, lost my job, but I got you now, Hill, and you'll pay. 
You'd be in the clink right now had it been for that piano teacher. I told her all about you and what'd she do? Lily gags me around till I couldn't get the shin with all dried up man hungry doxy round here. Stop or I'll kill you, little dirty. You bully! Get out of here! You big blow off! I'll stand this town till you get yours up, down, through, and sideways. Why well, you never even in the territory? Here's this stuff, Greg. The rig's in the alley. Come on, let's hurry. One Christian earned. talking to you. I won't listen. You won't tell the truth anyway. Would two? Would not. Would two tell you anything you want to know? Can you lead a band? No. Are you a dirty rotten crook? Yes. Are you a big fat liar? Yes. Leave me go you big liar. Whoa there son what's the problem? You want to hear the truth didn't you? Now I'm bigger than you and you better stop squirming. And you're gonna get it all too. That's better. Now there's two things you're entitled to know. One, you're a wonderful kid. I thought that from the beginning. That's why I wanted to put you in the band, so you stop moping around and feeling sorry for yourself. What band? I always think there's a band. What's the other thing I'm entitled to know? Well, come to think of it, that's none of your business anyhow. I wish you'd never come to River City. No, you don't, Winthrop. Sister, you believe him? I believe everything he ever said. What he promised us. I know what he promised us, and it all happened just like he said. With the lights, and the flags and symbols, and the colors. Where was all that? In the way every kid walked around this summer, and looked and acted, especially you, and the parents too. Does Mama wish you'd never come to River City? You do, don't you? No, Winthrop. Now please go, Harold. Go on, Professor, hurry up. I can't go, Winthrop. Why not? For the first time, I got my foot caught in the door. There was love all around, but I never heard it singing. No, I never heard it at all, till there was you. Greg, they're coming! They're coming! This way! Hurry! Greg. Hurry up, Professor! Hurry up! That way! Yeah, let's go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
why I interrupted the program at this point. Rest assured, the snake in our bosom would have been misapprehended by this time. And always remember, fellow river citizens, I did everything in my power to keep this dire happening from, uh, from, uh, happening. <coughs> Four store. He's slippery, I told you. Four score. Just a minute here. Virtue is triumph. The sword of retribution is cut down, Professor Harold Hill. And if there are those of you, as I have heard, who are melting darn collecting feathers, I will not say nay to them. Well, I think some of you should be able to forget our everlasting Iowa stubborn chipping on shoulder arrogance long enough to remember what River City was like before Harold Hill arrived. Do you remember? Well, do you? Surely some of you are grateful to him for what he's brought to this town. And if so, I should think you'd want to admit it. You're wasting a great deal of time here. Now, if there's anyone in this room who does not think this man Hill should be tarred and feathered, let him stand up! You lady, sit down! <clears throat> and the rest of you standing there like a coat of Shropshire sheep. Do you remember how you paid for expensive band uniforms, expensive instruments, and technical instruction books? Do you remember the clear warranty and guarantee that your children will be able to play in a band? Well, where's the band? Where's the band? Right, men. Think. Think. Good job, Barney.
uh, that we certainly want to recognize as very special. You know, a musical is only a play without music. And so certainly we'd like to thank our volunteer orchestra that came. under the direction of our concert master, Vicki Peterson. Vicki, would you stand for us? <laughs> A special thanks also to Karen Anderson, who played for the past two months for us. begin to share and thank for all of the people that have worked. Uh, there's two people I wish they'd come forward though, Karen Nelson and Kathy Carlson. Come on forward if you would. I think these two gals put in more hours than I did last week and the week before as well. Uh, Doug and Carol Palmer, would you please come on out here? The hours these two saints have put in is just uh, phenomenal. Uh, the stage and the setting and all of that is uh, really at the heart of Doug. Uh, uh, so many hours that he put in. We have two student directors, if Heather Brumley and Sean Kelly would come forward. Yeah. Well, this certain young man and about a hundred of his closest friends got together and put on a, just a spectacular musical. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to introduce to you our music man, Jeff Stewart.